to calibrate our IN520 today and what you do is you hold down the unit button and you press the on off and it's going to go on fill that is the first thing that's going to do fill is the filter intensity parameter so the greater the x value the greater the intensity um, and uh, so what you're going to do is just leave it at 3 3 is the normal um, number for this parameter press uh, unit and if you want to change it you could do so with tear so we just press unit zero this is uh, zero tracking uh, parameter um, again we're going to leave that at three as well and press unit uh, next level is ZTRX and this is the creep tracking again you can leave this one at three actually let's do it at three yep and press unit C stands for capacity um, you could change it go higher 2000, 3000, 5000, 6000, 7500, 8000, 10000 let's say we leave it at that and press unit D is division, um, your accuracy, one pound, two pounds, five pounds, ten pounds. Now you could go all the way up to you know you get better readings, but at the same time you have to make sure the load cells could handle this as well. So it's not just you know switching the um, indicator to what you like. So for ten thousand, we always go with one pound, ten thousand by one pound, and we're going to press units. HP off. This is if you want to do um, a linear calibration. No need here. Just uh, press unit. And this is where you change if you want to show KG or LB. You want to leave it in LB and press unit. Uh, this section is LIN off. Leave that as well. This is the internal reading section. So if you touch the scale, if you press down, the numbers will also show. So this is a healthy number. There's no negatives. And then from there, we're going to press unit as well. Now, this is the weight that you're going to use to calibrate the scale with. In our case, we're going to use, we're going to go down to 50 pounds. And then we're going to put that 50 pounds onto the scale. Okay, so it says 50. And once it stabilizes, you're going to hit unit. And then from there, if you add weight, it should go up, right? It should go up. And if you let it go, start to 50. And if you remove the 50, it should go back down to zero. And you put the 50 back on. There you go. This is how you calibrate the IN520. Thanks so much.